What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Okay, so this video is basically a, uh, what do you call it? Post haul, I guess. This is the stuff that I bought at Walmart um, for this year's income tax refund or whatever. Um, last year, I did like electronics, like TVs and then laptops and stuff like that. Um, and I also got a phone this year. I wanted to focus on like the electronics and stuff that I had, like had my eye on just stuff. I wanted to get, you know what I mean? More splurgy type stuff, more needy type stuff. Um, last year I kind of needed and wanted a new, well needed a new laptop and a new TV. Cause I had them for five years. There's nothing wrong with them, but I want to update. Um, this one was more so, like I said, a just new gadget type thing this year. So, um, sorry on my head itch. I need to wash it. Anyway, uh, so basically I tried again with this whole waffle maker thing. Um, only this time I got the, uh, I guess the upgrade or the better one. I don't know. Last time I bought a Bella waffle maker, um, I guess it was a normal two slice rotating waffle maker. Um, it was like a basic brand. This one, I guess, is supposed to be like the better one, I guess. It's four slice. Um, there's obvious differences between this one and the one that I had last time, but I'm not going to go into that. <clears throat> Long story short, the one I bought last time, there was something mechanically wrong with it, so I couldn't open it to actually use it, so I had to take it back. And so I was really skeptical and really nervous about getting another one, but I wanted one, so I said, hopefully this one works out. Now, if this one doesn't work out, we will have a problem because, yeah, I'm going to show take that back up to freaking Walmart. Anyway, um, I also got a pressure cooker. I have been wanting a pressure cooker for a while. And every time I would see one, it just didn't really feel like the right moment or the right one. Or I didn't have enough money. Or I would feel like, okay, if I buy this, I'm going to be broke. You know what I mean? So for tax time, yeah, I just there was no regrets, no uh, none of that. And I also had wanted to get a the air fryer because when it first came out the idea first came out and i was like air fryers i said that sounds gross like has it i had so many questions you know what i mean it just sounded so gross to me like an air fryer like it's air fried food it basically to me it sounded like some type of like i don't know like it just sounded like it would give you weird results and i was just like yeah no thanks um excuse me but when i actually started watching videos of people making stuff in an air fryer um particularly this guy on youtube he has a channel called the wolf pit which i really like his channel um he does food videos you know food demonstration videos he's a really good person i really i really like his channel so if you guys come across the wolf pit make sure you check out his video or whatever um yeah anyway i basically got the deciding uh factor from him he gave me the idea. I was like, you know what? If that's how his food comes out in an air fryer, if that's how an air fryer does it, I definitely want one. And people have been talking about air fryers nonstop like the last year. Like they've become really big. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. And Walmart, it has a really like weird selection. Like they'll have one that's like really cheapy, like one really obviously cheapy. And then have one that's like really expensive. And you're like, um, yeah. So I kind of like went with the, like, I guess the expensive one. Um, I figured, Hey, why not? It's tax time. I'm not going to be able to afford, you know, to even buy this stuff. Ne nevertheless, ne excuse me, y'all not to mention, uh, the, you know, better brand. So I said, you know what? I'm going to splurge as trailer trash. Tammy says splurge shout out to trailer trash. Tammy. That's my girl too. I love her. Y'all check out her channel too, because she is hilarious. Or whatever she's like she does mukbangs uh vine compilations or whatever you call it check her out check out the wolf pit and check out Shirley trash tammy anyway uh so yeah these are the three things that i bought um this tax time i haven't unboxed anything yet because i didn't have time last night when i got home from the stores i was tired like i was so shopped out like i got all the shopping that was backed up out of my system like for real, I spent like two hundred two hundred and thirty dollars at Walmart, like twenty some dollars at Roses. Roses was more like an impulse, you know, kill time type of buy. 
And then I went to the Chinese buffet with my friend yesterday. So I was full. I was tired. Then I had to work this morning. Yeah, it was just I was I was done. Um, So I'll probably do another video whenever I like take these out. If I can find somebody to hold the actual phone, which that's another thing, too. I bought a new phone. Um, I didn't need one, but the one I had was just getting like laggy. The memory was running low on it. So I said, you know what? And then the text messages, it was just a bunch of like weird little small quirky things that was getting to me. I was like, you know what? Okay, it's time for an upgrade. Um, originally, I was going to go with the Samsung Galaxy S9. I had my heart set on it. But when it came time to get it, I was like, you know what? I got to make my tax refund money last. So I'm like, I'm not paying six forty nine for a phone. That's like 57% of my income right there. I said, I'm good. Let me find me an alternative. Um, which took some time because I was like, uh, I knew which one I didn't want to buy. So I pretty much had to rely on the specifications of phones. I'm like, okay, you know, just, I really had to do some some soul searching so anyway long story short i got this phone called the lg g6 and specification wise it was an upgrade the only thing that was kind of like a downgrade was the screen size which to me that really didn't matter and also the battery i guess was smaller like the battery capacity was smaller like i said that didn't really didn't matter to me because i was getting better specifications like the camera is like 4k and i've never had a 4k anything so yeah I st that'll work with me doing videos because <clears throat> YouTube can support 4K. I don't have a 4K TV, so yeah, perfect for YouTube. Um, yeah, so I got the phone and these three things right here. Um, like I said, I'll do another video if I can find somebody to help me record or whatever because I'm not about to freaking trying to open boxes and hold the phone. I ain't that freaking like, I ain't that coordinated, y'all. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Um... So I think that's it for right now. Um, so I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully I will be uploading some unboxing or whatever. All right. I will talk to you guys soon. Peace out.